This shrub is another one in the Rosaceae family. It's in the genus Prunus, and the specific epitaph is Americana. This is wild plum, or American plum. Typically, it's more of a shrub or a small stature tree, and it will often form a clonal group, making a dense thicket. Let's take a closer look at some of the identifying characteristics. This is what the younger bark would look like. These white or sort of tan lines going across, those are called lenticels, and they're quite prominent on the younger bark, and it has maybe a little bit of a shine to it, or almost a metallic like coloring. As you move into the older bark, you can see that it starts to break and peel almost, although these are still fairly stiff, so it's not papery, like you might see in some species. Here you can see that it is alternately arranged, so leaf, 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 as it comes out. Newest growth, which is common, in many plants is a greenish in color, and then it turns into this brownish with a little bit of a, a white that can be scraped off. And eventually it will go into more and more of a gray color as it ages. The leaves are simple leaves. They are singly attached. Like many things in the Rosaceae family, they have a toothed margin or cereulate margin. This on the American plum tends to be longer and narrower, coming to an acuminate tip. If you look very closely at the base of the leaf, or the start of the petiole, you can see these two little black marks. Those are little glands that are common on American plum. American plums do produce edible plums. These are just beginning here. They start out green, but then they'll turn red, and then eventually a deep purple and they are very sweet, a little tart, uh, once they've ripened, and really quite good. Looking to the inside of the plant, you can see that they produce an enormous amount of twigs, and some of these twigs can develop into a slightly sharp point, not quite a thorn, but a little sharp point. This happens to be a dead portion of the plant, but this is similar to what it would look like in the fall. Here you can see a branch with these little a uh, twig or th almost thorn-like structures to it. Those are not true thorns, but can be s rather sharp to get poked with. To give an idea of form, here's what we're looking at all the way from that sign. As we move in, you can see that really more of a hedge or mass planting that you might see. Will not get incredibly tall, but can spread horizontally or laterally quite a bit.